Russia's invasion of Ukraine has severely strained ties between Russia and the West. In the latest, Moscow has now accused the United States of having a direct role in the Ukraine war. A spokesperson of Russia's defense ministry has alleged that the U.S. spies were approving and coordinating Ukrainian missile strikes on Russian forces. The Russian defense ministry in a statement says, and I quote, it is the Biden administration that is directly responsible for all Kiev-approved rocket attacks on residential areas and civilian infrastructure in populated areas of Donbass and other regions. Apart from this, Moscow has also claimed that Russia had destroyed six U.S.-made HIMARS rocket systems since the war in Ukraine began on February 24th. As a result of a high-precision strike in the city of Kharkiv, two U.S. multiple rocket launchers, HIMARS, have been destroyed on the territory of the Ukrainian power machines plant. Also, 53 Ukrainian nationalists and foreign mercenaries have been destroyed. Meanwhile, at a nuclear non-proliferation conference, a Russian diplomat rejected allegations of Kremlin threatening to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Listen in. But if Western countries try to test our resolve, Russia will not back down. And this is not the language of threat. This is simply a statement of what is possible, such as the logic of deterrence. A Russian top court has also designated Ukraine's Azov regiment as a terrorist group. This could further lead to pressing of terror charges against some of the captured fighters who were trying to defend Mariupol's steel plant till the last moment. Scores of Azov fighters are being held by Moscow since their surrender in mid-May. And according to Russia's criminal code, members of terrorist groups can face up to 10 years in jail, while their leaders and organizers can be jailed for up to 20 years. Azov has been one of the most prominent Ukrainian military formations fighting alongside the army against Russian troops in eastern Ukraine. The Ukrainian government has also asked people living in the Donetsk region to evacuate as soon as possible, representing the start of what authorities are describing as a compulsory evacuation effort. And in the latest round of sanctions, the United States blacklisted Russian President Putin's purported girlfriend and the tycoon owner of the second largest estate in London. Several other Russian oligarchs who are close to Russian President Vladimir Putin have also been hit with U.S. bans. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.